Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Erica. Today I'm going to be chatting with you guys and catching up with you guys. I really missed you and I'm so happy to be here with you today. You might have clicked on this video because you want to hear what I have to say about dealing with anxiety and insecurities and burnout. So get yourself a seat, maybe a snack, maybe a drink and get comfortable because I'm just going to be chatting very candidly with you guys about this last month and what went on with me and why I took a little bit of a break here on YouTube but I am back here to share with you guys the juice, the tea and I just want you to know that if you're dealing with any of these things that you are not alone and I'm gonna prove it to you by just spilling all the tea letting you guys know what I've been going through and what really helped me because someone's calling me it's not important also, if you feel like this quarantine is really getting to you, I just want to hold space for you, know that you're not alone. For myself, there's been a lot of moments where I'm just like, wow, this is really tough and not to be insensitive to people who are directly affected by COVID. I know some of them myself. I know people who have passed away from COVID myself, but I also know the validity of the feelings that we're having in quarantine apart from the virus itself. It's okay, we're gonna be okay. And I hope that this video just lets you know that you're not alone. So I'm gonna be sharing a bit about what happened in January and what led to my ultimate burnout and then some tips and some tricks that help me or that are helping me get out of this rut so stay tuned for that be sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos about mental health and becoming your best self because ultimately that's what i like to talk about here on my channel normalizing these kind of ruts that we get into or just normalizing talking about mental health is something that i definitely want to do here on my channel chatty 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 so at the beginning of january like many of us i mapped out a lot Lot of goals for myself right here i wrote down i wanted to quit vaping i wanted to continue uploading consistently on youtube i wanted to launch my vegan sweets page you can follow me right here i wanted to start podcasting i wanted to start writing an ebook i wanted to save money and so i had all of these goals and so i started to plan for these goals and write out agendas and schedules and to-do lists all day every day for how I was gonna crush it in January and honestly through the most of January for like the first maybe three weeks I was really crushing it like a well-oiled machine you know I did quit vaping and instead I was going on a lot of walks like two to three walks a day and I really threw myself into my work I feel like to fill that void or that struggle if that makes sense i felt like i was really crushing it i was uploading i was walking i wasn't vaping and then just the end of january came and i felt so just like it was like a switch and i woke up one day and i felt extremely anxious extremely overwhelmed and just i don't know if you would call it an anxiety attack but i was just like whoa like what is going on with me and i was feeling really really bad about myself i started to feel really insecure um, i've been breaking out more than usual lately and that caused me to feel very insecure about my skin and just myself and not wanting to be on camera not wanting to wear makeup because i didn't want to make it worse but it was just it felt overwhelming and even though I was doing the things, I felt like I wasn't doing enough. I felt like I didn't know what I was doing with my life. I don't know. I just felt myself slip a little bit into this dark place. And I was like, oh no, what do I do? I didn't want to be in that negative space. And I felt even bad about myself for feeling that way with anxiety again. Because if you know my history with anxiety, I talk about it in this... Um, other video about how I broke my neck I will link it down below that's a little bit of a dark video so if you're feeling dark right now don't watch it but I was just like what's wrong with me what's wrong with me and the truth is like nothing's wrong with you also if you're a person watching this and you have your period just know that it's normal to have a heightened sense of anxiety before you're gonna start your period it's a scientific fact if you didn't know so just the fact that you're aware of that um, maybe next time that it comes up or you didn't know that that's something that you experienced I don't know maybe that's something that would be helpful for you to know and something that I recently learned 
But anyways, I digress. I just was putting so much on myself without really realizing that I hadn't left room for relaxation or really some real self-care or any real breaks. And that ultimately led to my demise or to my anxiety. Um, because I'm also still a single mom, stay-at-home mom, and I'm a college student. And to pile all of these things, you know, I wasn't wrong for that, but I just learned from that there is a too much and that I'm only a human being. Like, I'm not a machine. I'm not a computer. I can't go, 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 go without resting, without doing things that make me happy. I stopped yeah, I lost sense of like the things that were like bringing me happiness and pleasure and leisure just I got into this mode of work 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 So I just want to get into some tips that help me. I'm sorry if this video is all over the place It is indicative of my brain at this moment. And it's not perfect But I still think that sharing some of these things might be helpful And like I said, just to know that you're not the only one feeling bleh, like I um, something really important that I had to do that you might have been able to tell is I took a break I took like a week of break off of the things that I was like pursuing so relentlessly I was still going on walks and everything but other than that wasn't putting pressure on myself to be on social media including YouTube and I just let off the gas of a lot of the things that I was gassing because I was having a hard time holding it together and I was crying to my friend and I was like, what is going on? And shout out to Leilani. She just honestly reminded me that it's okay and necessary at times to pause, to reel it in and to put your mental health first or else and yourself first or else everything is going to fall to the wayside. It's going to fall apart if you are not taking care of this. She reminds me that what you water grows and so i need to be filling up my own cup watering myself before i try to tend to all these other things so a gentle reminder to myself and to you here are some tips that help me besides that write down everything that you did accomplish so sometimes we can be in our mind i definitely was in my own head about like oh i didn't do enough i didn't do this i didn't get started on this i'm not making enough progress on this and something that was really helpful and necessary for me was to write down, take inventory of everything that I did do. I did quit vaping, okay? I did save this amount of money. Take take inventory like all across the board. What what did you do for yourself, maybe for others in your relationship, um, for work, for school and finance? Like what did you accomplish? Um, and ground yourself in the things that you are crushing the things that you are doing because oftentimes we're not giving ourselves enough credit i was definitely not giving myself enough credit when i was feeling down like oh boohoo i was like i had to take a hard look at it and realize like wow i really actually i did great and i feel like i did horrible and it's because i'm not giving myself enough credit that is tip number one, is to write down, take inventory of all the things that you did accomplish. Maybe it was this week, maybe it was today, maybe it was this month. For me, I did a list of what I accomplished in January. And that was so nice for me to look at and be like, wow, I can really ground myself in what I did. Another tip that I have for you is to honor where you're at right now like all across the board with yourself with your appearance with work with school with finances just honoring where you're at right now because honestly sometimes we can be really absorbed in honoring our goals and who we want to be and the things that we want to have and the things that we want to accomplish and it's not leaving room for gratitude and really honoring like today what do i have here today right now that i really would have killed for back then like you know that's it's a practice in gratitude as well just realizing in this moment, wow, I really do have everything that I need. I really do have all the things that I used to want and that's beautiful and that's worth honoring and I can ground myself in that if that makes sense. Another tip that I touched on briefly but I'm gonna reiterate is to take a break. Oh my goodness. Sometimes when we are feeling like unmotivated or just burnt out or unproductive and you're like, oh my gosh, 
what's wrong with me like why why can't i do anything why can't i get motivated to do this thing oh my goodness like sometimes we need a reminder that the world will still continue to turn if we take a break like i'm in a fortunate spot where i can take a break i can take a break and sometimes we are you know we give ourselves these deadlines and then because we're not feeling good within them then we're beating ourselves up over it it's like stop making yourself rules that are like hurting your mental health like it's okay to bend the rules if you can't hold it together so take a break whether it's one day whether it's two days but honestly another thing that i wanted to say is sometimes a one day break is not enough like if, if you're going to give yourself a one day break say it's social media sometimes that one day is like literally not enough to reel it back in and so my tip to you is to feel out like what is the maybe you don't know the exact time but like what do i need like do i need more than a day and just to to be honest with yourself because rest is a really really important part of any process any any goal that you're working towards like you literally cannot get there if you're not taking the proper breaks and the proper rest stops so i want to encourage you if you've been feeling called to take a break to give yourself permission to do so because it is okay <laughs> you really will feel better and thank yourself for it afterwards um, i wanted to remind you guys that we are human beings and not human doings so it's okay to take a break from the doing and just be and just be a human being wow it's felt really great to talk to you guys and to get into my groove like i felt a little bit nervous but now I feel like i'm preaching i know what i'm talking about and i'm speaking from the heart so it feels good to be back i just must say we are all together in this if you're still quarantined i'm still quarantined i live in the u.s and um, i live in california so covid cases still pretty bad still um doing our best to stay safe and stay home but just know like we are all together in figuring out how to cope with this mentally and it is a lot and i don't think that i'm wrong to address the impact of um being quarantined on our mental health and i'm not saying you know you should go out and be unsafe or be irresponsible we are doing the right thing but it does have its toll on mental health and i think that everyone is affected by it to some capacity so just another reminder if i have to say it a hundred times you are not alone i am feeling it no one is immune there's nothing wrong with you another thing that can really help you if you're feeling like you're in a rut is to break from your routine a lot of us are creatures of habit and we're in the same routine every single day and sometimes although that's good you know structure is good for some people some people really thrive that way sometimes too much of a good thing you know you're not leaving yourself something to look forward to if it's the same and there's not enough switch up so sometimes to break from your routine and just to do something spontaneous or something that you don't do every day just because just for the purpose of breaking from routine can really help with burnout another thing i will preach up and down is journaling because it's free it's like a form of therapy journaling um I could go on about journaling, but just getting what's in your brain onto paper and just leaving it there. I think that there's something really beautiful about that. Or if you need a friend or need someone to talk to or need to get something out, but you don't have that trusted person, you can always journal it out. And I always feel better after just writing some things or if I'm going through something and I feel like my mind is racing, just to just the practice of having to put it into words on paper can really help you and it really does help me so journaling literally try it out if you don't already and see if it will help you out another thing that i want to remind you guys is to reach out to your friends and i'm really preaching to myself and to my older self because this is something that i was so bad at when i was struggling i would do the opposite of reach out to my friends and i would isolate myself and just not I think I was like full of shame or worry that I was going to bother them or that they weren't going to be able to help me. That's another thing is that growing up, I was going through things that maybe not all of my friends have been through. And so I thought to myself that 
you know, they couldn't possibly help me or it wouldn't be beneficial to me to open up about it. But I think that if you have really trusted, loving friends, that that couldn't be further from the truth. Because even if my friends can't completely empathize because they haven't been through the same things, maybe they're not a mom like me or not the same family situation, just verbalizing and saying you know friend like i just need someone to talk to and get this off of my heart and get this off of my mind you will literally feel better if all of that goes to someone that you trust and someone that loves you and that's gonna listen and maybe give some advice or if that's not what you want then just to listen like humans need that and so i want to encourage you to reach out to your friends okay also on the note of feeling insecure okay i just want you to take inventory of who if you find yourself feeling insecure ask yourself who am i comparing myself to and that's just a really honest question you can answer for yourself and sometimes um you can follow that path and just realize like wow it's really freeing when i can identify who maybe i was comparing myself to subconsciously and just let myself know that I don't have to do that. I will never be that person and I am my own version of freaking awesome. So I can stop with the comparing and just be happy with who I am, with who you are, you know? On the same note, if you're feeling anxious, take anxious and insecure, take inventory of like, who am I trying to impress? Like who, who ultimately am I trying to make happy or trying to not piss off? And also to be able to free yourself from that because um, on this channel, we we do what makes us happy as long as we're not harming anyone and we're living our truth and our authentic self. So you don't have to be trying to measure up to anybody's standards as long as you are happy and making progress towards what makes you happy and what's important to you, then you are on the right track and you don't need anyone's approval or anyone's validation. You can go ahead and give that right to yourself. And then the last thing that I wanted to say, it's just an idea to ponder because I was noticing a trend. I was like, wow, I felt an extreme sense of burnout towards the end of January. And so I retracted and as I was taking my break, I was observing like some of the content, like podcasts specifically that was coming out. And I was like, wow, like I think that everyone to some capacity kind of experiences this at this point in the year. But then also I was listening to Jay Shetty's podcast, which is called On Purpose, I believe and he was talking about the four seasons of life that we all experience now this is just another way of looking at this season of burnout right and so he was talking about how us as humans we go through all of the seasons of life um they don't have to be in order and they don't have to go with the real seasons of like the weather but this just, I, I don't have like a perfect understanding of this, but a basic understanding for sure. And I know that summer, it kind of alludes to productivity and fall alludes to letting things go, right? Like the leaves. And to my understanding, winter is a time where we slow down and we're really reflective and contemplative and maybe product productivity slows. A little bit and now all of these seasons um sometimes we can have just like in real life in real weather we can have a cold day in a summer season or vice versa you know what i mean it's all intermixed but this just shaped the way that i thought about what i was going through because when i first heard this i was like wow so that means that january for the first maybe three weeks it was summer because I felt really productive and that was my first idea and then now I definitely felt that I'm in a winter I'm contemplating I'm doing more planning thinking thinking about things like thoroughly before taking full action but um so I can identify that I'm kind of in a winter right now but in hindsight I feel like in throughout January I feel like I was actually in fall and something that has been affecting me that I didn't really hold space for and now I'm definitely making it a point to hold space for. I think that I was in a season of fall because in 
2020, you know, I, I think I've said this before, maybe I just said it on Instagram, but I said goodbye to a lot of relationships, honestly, a few friendships and um, a familial relationship that unfortunately changed for, I guess it is the better, but it was painful, you know, and just... I think that throughout the month of January, I was still shedding those things and I'm still continuing to shed like the, the impact. You know, I, don't, I don't know if this makes sense. Let me think of a better way to say this. I'm still processing like the loss of people in my life and just what, what this new space and what this new, just everything like looks like for me. This video felt a little bit all over the place, but felt really good to get some things off my chest and just be your friend if anything else your friend through the screen to let you know you're not alone here's what i'm going through happy to hear what you're going through leave a like if this resonated with you and i'm really looking forward to just uploading again and i'm looking forward to editing this video and just making it hopefully a really beautiful helpful cohesive video because my brain feels all over the place but i'm wishing you guys well i hope that you're really staying healthy and safe and that and that you're taking care of your mental and your physical health both of those things are just health and i think that's all so i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye guys